Hey, what's up everyone? So on this card, I've seen some people asking about uh, how to increase your royal blood. Um, kind of explained it maybe in my beginner guide, but I know it was not that clear maybe. So I uh, will explain today tavern hunting and also like how do you use them to do it. So right now it's my fourth month. So yeah, the next month is the spring festival. So in my case, I have two characters that are contest or uh, hurl which is my highest title right now, my highest nobility. And what I want to do is go in the country that you need to match your people with, right? So in my case, Throne Cathedral is the one with the sinest uh, blood. And the, the, there is like, if you want to get, what is the name of this one again? I don't even know. This one is like, uh, I think it's for like foreigner. So you can get like Freemans and stuff like that. And same thing with the this part here, but yeah. So I will go here on the on my month five, and I will get my spring festival. Uh, wait, she's a contest. She's only twelve percent. She's not culture, so no, I don't need her. But yeah. So spring festival. As I said, you will have all of these choice. So if you want foreigner, you can go in Warbin or West Ed West Edge, which is the only way to get them because you cannot date them directly. You cannot. You can, but you need to be like high reputation enough, which is pretty hard for these. And you can also like you want you want heal. You can go on this one. You want sinus, and uh, not sinus. Pelfin. You go on this one. Uh, for Dressil or high health in the for Dressil one in the wood call one. And yeah. So in my case, um, again, I have only two of them. I mean the the rest. Okay. These two first character are hell in contest and they have culture here, which is the thing you want to do, you want to get. He have bad things, I, I don't care about his blood, the only thing I want from him is to get one duchess from him. And same thing with this girl here, she's a, she's a contest and she's culture as well. I don't have any, any money loving high title yet. And these three here, I just need to match them, they are just good blood for me and I just like Baron 90% I keep. I keep hell 50%. Yeah, hell I keep a bit higher, but I kick them after their first two babies. Because the first two babies will have the, the title of the, the parents, and the rest will be knights and lower. Right? And yeah, so she's a contest as well. She's 70%. I keep her because she's a contest and I want to match her. So all of them are sinus in my case. I, I recommend to keep six of them. If you have six culture, and you want to go to the highest title, that's perfect. I only have two of them, which is just I'm waiting for my kids to be like, okay, no, no one for him, just a hurl for her. That's not what I want. I want Dukes, which did not happen in this case. So this one is the Baron. He has not the title. He's not, he's not having culture. I just want to match him. So I will try the Lucky Baroness. It, it will cost me maybe, no, she's saying no, okay. Uh, this one is a hell as well, and I want contest, sensitive, sluggish, hand patient, skeletal, all of them are bad trait. And the white hair is a bad trait as well, it's really uh, albinous, it's really bad, okay, it's removing like, I don't remember how much, I think it's 7 vitality, something like that. So I will try the sensitive contest, she's 17, she said no, I don't care, alright, and same thing, romantic, okay, good, let's try him. They don't have the title, so I don't care for the last ones. But my two first units are the one I'm trying to hunt for higher title. And of course, in my case, I will go and then go in dates with these two. I mean, I, I will match these three first. And then with every date remaining before the end of the year, the, the fifth month, I will, you, I will try to get Big Shot name. Um, I can show you a little image here. Let me just find it, find it for you right now. It's a... Knight of Ages. Uh, okay, so this here would be helpful. All right, let me just put this here. All right. So let's say you want a knight, you will see this, right? So for a knight, you will see she come or he come from family of Northern Aristocrat. She has a brother who is a knight. That means the unit is a knight. Uh, if you see he come from family of ascendance noble, family consists of true gener generation inherited, a father as modest noble, true family is quite wealthy, it's baron and baroness. If you're trying to get higher title from your, uh, from your dating, 
I will just move this one a bit. And for Earl and Contest, you have uh, inherit substantial fortune and come from family of skilled foreign negotiator. And the Duke and Duchess, you have oh, this one. I will have to move again. I think you guys can see it this way, right? Yeah. So connected by the king, big shots and cousin of the king. Everything that say king is Duke and Duchess. So if I do this here, I'm trying to get a Duke or Duchess. I will do that. Da 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 da. Okay, there we go. I see she come negotiator. This is not a duke, okay? And this is a, a con um, contest in this case. She come from foreign negotiator. This is also contest. You can do that. Da -da -da -da. Um, still not saying it. There we go. And is the cousin of the king. So this is a duke or a duchess. Okay. I mean, I I don't need to show you anymore, but. This here, I know she's a she's a duke or duchess, so I send the letter, and I hope that it will match or not. Uh, it's been several times I try, I never get a duke or duchess, so it's not working. But yeah, all right, let's go. Enough time for this. Let's go now into the if you're right, really beginning. What is the first step to do? The first step is the tavern hunting. So I call it this way. So what you want to do is go into the tavern and look how the title first. So there is no, uh, I don't see anyone with the title of strawberry and uh, I don't see anyone with the title of um, Joyous and I'm not sure the other one but Joyous and Strawberry are the one you will be looking for you want culture and money loving trade so there is nothing here there is no low level with low uh, low age and low level with high price nothing interesting into this tavern to me so then I will go to the next one all right so let's go you do this uh, the tavern will reset every year okay every first month of the year tavern reset completely so do it do it once a year and then you can do your quest or whatever so feeble trust no uh, no low level with good price i hope i will be able to find you uh, maybe one of them that has you know um i don't remember which country uh, which uh, city has yeah no these are not okay these are high price 180 and 241 but they have Level 23 and level 24. So the price is just for the level. I mean, I, I can show you. Okay, let's take the, the highest one. So I, I recruit this guy. He is 100% not pure blood, right? He's only uh, not regular blood. So you don't, you don't buy them. And there we go. So musical account, no title that I need. I don't want culture or money loving. So in that case, I will waste some of my, of my moral to switch. Confident and month, yeah, month, no. So I will go now to the next territory. Oh, my castle is being attacked as well. So now I will continue. Of course, do your quest between, but yeah, no high blood, no title that I want. It can take. Uh, you can find nothing in a year. Okay, it's not like uh, it's super easy. Your goal is to get okay, no high price and no title as well. So you go to the next one, tavern here. I was doing in some of my stream as well, Sadis Post Adventurer, so nothing here as well. You go to the next one, no tavern on this one. Also, I really recommend doing your, this is out of subject maybe, but Hill is one of the best place to do the Anne Berkman day because they will give you good resources for late game. Um, they, I mean, all of them, if you go in the Strangery store, they can sell you Sandstone and uh, for the castle upgrade. They will sell you the sandstone and the granite. So this is from hill. And the adamantine is also from hill. So this is for me the best place to go for every Unbroken day. So I got nothing here. Um, this guy is, is a hell 50%. Okay, I will keep, but yeah, I will just see what you get still. Uh, why am I going here? I don't know. All right. So lucky, omniscient, mucosal. Lucky is a really good trade, but I'm just saying. You will get it from your first crystal uh, unit, which is Sam, Sam the Lucky. You will get it already. You, you will know what is the trade. The Fat, the Hemoral, no high price. Okay, that's really not a lucky round. And I really don't need to do that. Okay, I'm far in the game enough that I don't need to do this. But this is the first, first. The Happy Go Lucky, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this one can have the trade I'm looking for. Um, no, optimistic, yeah. I mean, it could, you can have multiple trades from the same title, okay? There is not only one trade per title. So sometime, well, oh, I was saying about the joyous, okay, nothing here as well. Um, and if you want, if you're curious about like which title and which trade are good, there is a wiki. 
Uh, you can go on Discord of uh, the Knife of Ages Discord and look there. Uh, you can ask in the community to get the link. Yeah, so uh, there is still no good trade here. This guy is level 18 at 23 years, so he has no royal blood most likely. I will hire him just to show it, but this is not a potential royal blood one as well. So let's keep going. You will be sure you get royal blood from, um, from people that are actually like him right now. Um, this one could potentially have royal blood. It, I think it could have 12%. It could have none as well. But he's only level 4. His age is not too high. And his price is over 100. So this is likely could be a uh, royal, um, royal blood. That did not happen though. But it was not a really high price. So that's... If it was 17 and level 4, I would have think more about it. Okay, what what castle? Okay, this is this castle here. Ah, uh, well, that's my last place to go, so I will do it after the video. All right, let me just sorry for all the thing be between. I have my little uh, management to do. Harvest festival, yeah. Okay, nothing really crazy on this year. Um, I will just buy some bread for two thousand silver. I have a lot of people. So I'm buying for 3,000 silver bread and I'm just, all right, cancel this because there is a bug that does not put it in your bread already. And I will put 700, 700, yeah, 700 bread onto this. So it, it will be good for three or four years. All right, there you go. No, yeah, all right, just take one of these here, little extra. Oh yeah, the statue, some of you asked me about the statue they just increase your production of the next year okay so if you wonder like should you build the statue in my opinion no um you could increase i could increase my clay my um, seed things here i could increase livestock i don't know there is war horse here you cannot produce war horse from siege i think it's for later but for now the big resources here you cannot get them from siege so uh, you can get them from the co-op siege, but these are not production. So yeah, uh, I would, that would have been good to for me to find anything good. This guy again is high level, level 22. He has no royal blood. Okay, that's just a uh, that's yeah, um, that's a trap. Uh, whoops, I will defend this one after. All right, tavern here. The Simpleton, Haplike, Dwarf, Water Buffalo, blood, Bloodthirsty. Alright, this one I think is a good example. I think that this one is most likely to have Royal Blood. This one I would not be surprised to see 12% and more. So we just look at it. And there you go. He has 12% for Drasil. Okay. So he, he was only level 8 with one, 190 and his age is low. So you have a good chance to get Royal Blood from a unit that costs more but has no age and uh, yeah, is not high age. Okay, low price is also not dextrous, the pious. Not sure how to pronounce this, but yeah, nothing here. Uh, studious, sensitive, no high price. Okay, that's a bad tavern hunting that I really happen to do, which is most likely maybe to happen. Your first, yeah, premature skeletal. All right. And there is uh, there is one, confident, bean pole, withered, and weak. So nothing. This one is two hundred twelve, but is level twenty two and twenty four one. This one twenty one, twenty six, one hundred fifty, and one hundred. Yeah, all of them are, are probably no royal blood. I will buy all of them just to show you because it's a video, of course. But and again, I don't need them. I would kick them all. But this one, even if he has a high price, is kind of low age and but high level, which is most likely to have nothing here. As you can see, and then this one here, she's also a uh, high level for her age, which is no royal blood. And this one here, oh, he might have. Okay, that's actually a surprise though. Is eight, her age is 40, 42, and she's 50%. So you can, yeah, that's what I said on Discord. You can find people with 50. Uh, 
So maybe try them if they have low level and high age. I did not know about that. I was doing just low. I was thinking that the age was changing the price, the more old, but it seems to be really about the level after all. So we learned something here. Go for the level. If it's low level and high price, then you will see that you're most likely to have high blood. So she has a bad trade, but her baby might not get them if you want for Dracil in this case, whatever. In my case, I would still kick her because I only keep I only keep 87% and more for, for Dracil. And for Dracil is one of the worst blood in my opinion. Uh, perception, agility, and dexterity, that's what it gives. I could show you if I find my character that has 100% for Dracil, but yeah. Okay, I did not find anyone in the tavern for to show you what I wanted, so I will show you here, okay? You see her name here, that's maybe too small, but the Joyous Knight, okay? Joyous Knight is culture, all right? So that's what you want. And then this guy here is also Joyous Knight, okay? But he has money loving as well. He's Joyous Knight because he has culture as well. But if he had no culture, uh, he's my teacher, okay? This guy is bad, he has no good stat, no royal blood at all. I just kept him for the two uh, title, the two um, trade here that I want. And I was, yeah. So, um, he should, he, if he did not get culture, he wouldn't have been called Strawberry Knight. But Joyous Knight can have different, uh, can have this title and just have the other one, Optimistic, I think, or something like that. I don't have any other title I can show you. And what you want to do, I think I said it already, but you want to put them as your teacher. So culture here, culture and money loving. I just make, I make two of them to have culture and the, this one with the two to maybe increase. I don't know. I don't know if it increases your chance. And also the higher your level, your school, the less chance you will get culture on culture and money loving on your units. Because the more you level up your school, the more you would get these traits. So you want less trade to give to get higher title but when you reach the last title for example duke when you have a duke uh I, yeah also i forget um if you have a knight okay and you marry a baron with it your first baby will be a baron and the the other one will be a knight knight and then nothing 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 um if you are baron and you marry a countess you will get first child first kid will be okay let me show you actually uh, I don't have any one any anymore that has... Oh wait, I do have one. I do have one knight that married a baroness. That was weird. I don't even know why he did that. Oh, these are the one I need to uh, to run. But... Okay, and just to go straight to the, to the goal as well. You have... Um, when you marry with... Okay, so your first kid will be the title you just marry. If he don't die, of course. Um, but then you will have a kid that has okay this guy is a knight and he married a baroness and it was a mistake in my case I did not even try he just happened to marry a baroness you don't even have the trait it's not impossible if you don't have the trait the trait is just increasing your chance so it was my 90% signing knight and I just tried to marry him just to have babies with him and there we go I married a baroness okay she's not old enough Damn it, I cannot show you. But the first kid here, Karen, in that case, the 80% girl here, she's she will be a baron, and the, the other one will be a knight. So your first baby will be a baron. So, oh, only one of them, so it's the same amount, right? But then it's becoming your baby. So then you can date with the baby, and you will marry another baron. And when you have two baron, your first two babies will be baron, and then you multiply. And as you can see, I have a lot of contests right now in Hurl, and I did this my first generation. I had only one contest, and then I made two contests with them or hurl, and I, then I made two others with them, two others with them, and two others with them, and you just go on and go on. And at the beginning, your your blood would be low. You would you could have thirty percent of the blood of royal blood, but still, this is a high title and hurl. You can marry people up to. I think 75%. You can marry up to 75, between 37 to 75, if I'm not wrong, most likely for contest. For Baron, it can go from 12% to, uh, if I'm not wrong, 50%. But most likely 12 to, uh, let's say, her, she marry a Baron, is 37, okay? Um, here is a Baron here, she's 50%. So it can go up to 50% with a Baron. 
but I never seen a higher than this. In contest, you can actually marry people with uh, all you see 62%, you can go up to 75%. And Duke, I would not be surprised to see 50 to 100%. So you want the higher title possible, so you can marry your character to higher uh, nob noble blood, right? Uh, yeah, I could, again, I could not show you in the tavern how to get the culture or the strawberries. Strawberry is really hard to find. You will see a lot of joyous people in normally in your tavern hunting, but yeah, I guess that's it. That's maybe too long for what it's supposed to be, but I hope it will help you guys to understand how to increase your blood, your royal blood, into the game when you first start, right? If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comment, as always. And I wish you all a good one. Bye.